<laughs> good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Okay. First of all, let me give a shout out to my man, uh, Corey Holcomb uh, from the 5150 show. This is one of y'all earlier shirts. Um, and today I feel like I'm 5150. I feel like this is crazy. Y'all don't know what a report of a crazy person does to America. Okay, listen. First, oh, no, but before I do that, before I get to my story, let me give a shout out to the squad. First of all, uh, Ilhan Omar. All right, Ilhan, I'm glad you won your congressional seat back. Your Senate seat, AOC, Alexandria Ocasio Cortez. Congratulations. You won last week or two weeks ago or last month. Rashida Talib who is your second Muslim um, out of Michigan. Congratulations. And also to Ayanna Presley, um, who ran um, unprecedented. So I want to congratulate all of y'all on your win, y'all victory, uh, to assure some new blood up in him, uh, up in that old-ass, drabby-thinking, Shake them up some more, America. Okay, and I, so I congratulate you on your win. Secondly, which is probably the biggest win uh, of the night. It all depends on who you know what. I'm going to tell y'all, Yvette Carnell is a pretty good uh, political analyst. And this is what I mean. And I don't want to just be tooting Yvette uh, and tone talks uh a bill all the time. But this is the difference. This is what I mean. Even jokingly, Yvette made the uh, analogy as a political, a person that really does know politics. Um, she said that Joe Biden might as well pick Kamala Harris because Joe Biden is going to let the police in there and him and Kamala can just go lock them all up. Okay, I thought that was rather extreme, but it was kind of funny, so you don't know if she's joking or if it was a true. However, <laughs> this morning, this morning, Kamala, uh, Kamala Harris is Joe Biden's running mate. So, okay, I'm sure that's going to energize a lot of black folk now going to the poll. Um, and I'm, uh, I'm sure... Actually, I voted absentee, and so I always uh, do, because usually I'm working the poll. Uh, so um, I voted maybe a month ago, and so everybody that I voted for won. And, um, you know, we talking, we got Gwen Moore, and, um, you know, well, whoever, but I'm just, I just, I just want to uh, go back to... Uh, Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris and Joe Biden. A lot of people think that he shouldn't have picked her, given the fact that she um, did what she did to him during that presidential debate. Well, I think that's very well the reason why he should have picked her. Okay? Because if you don't, if you got a, a dog fight and you got a gun fight, you certainly don't bring a knife. And anybody else sitting up there, I thought would have been a knife to Donald Trump's gunfight. Uh, I would love to see uh, Kamala Harris and Donald Trump in a, a debate. Because one thing about a narcissist, you know, trying to deal with them is like nailing jello to a tree. Because they squirm and they change the subject and they project and they do all the goddamn things that you see Donald Trump doing right now that's driving people crazy. And it just further lets me know what I told y'all way when I started this channel, that America loves this kind of behavior. We breed narcissistic behavior. We relish it, um, especially when it comes from white people. 
Now, when it comes from black people and you see them crazy with their narcissistic behavior that you produce from the soil of this madhouse, then they're a problem. Okay? Um, but I don't see a difference between Kanye West and Donald Trump. I really don't. Both of them are extremely narcissistic. Donald Trump is just as nuts as Kanye West. Kanye West is a little bit more animated because he's an artist. Okay? And we act like that. Okay? So, in my opinion, they one and the same. And so, anytime a country can even pick somebody like that, go to show you how crazy we are over here. And my father always told me, Khadija, they're dummying down the nation. Are you going to be a dummy? The nation is becoming dummy down. Are you going to be a dummy? All the things my daddy told me are coming to fruition right now because a normal, rational society wouldn't even elect a Donald Trump, put him in place, or for all the people that didn't vote, they would have had to make... That should have been such a damn landslide. It shouldn't even been no electoral college and all that kind of crazy shit. It shouldn't even been up to that. Okay, that's why I said this is absolutely a nut house that we're in. Okay, y'all want to know why I call this the mental house? That's why. That's why. I'm sorry. Let me say this too while I'm at it. Kamala Harris and Joe Biden go on y'all merry way. Um, anybody that is dealing with people who are slowly deteriorating like I am right now, and it is one of the most challenging things I've ever had to deal with um, in terms of my age and parents. Um, you need somebody like a uh, a me or somebody like a, a Kamala Harris to pick up some of the slack um, from um, some of the things that these people do when they start getting at their age. Okay? Now, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come back a little later and I want to make a specific video uh, about this. Okay? And um, I'll talk, elaborate on it a little bit more. But in the meantime, in between time, y'all, congratulations to all them. That's my political uh, rant this morning. But the main reason I'm here, I think I watched DJ Vlad. And DJ Vlad had, uh, had Akon on there. Um, and I used to like this song. Actually, I used to crack up because my grandmama, my, my mother... And I would laugh at my my nephews. Uh, they would laugh at, um, they said, uh, Auntie, Granny was singing Locked Up. And that's crazy because my mom, my mom got certain songs that um, stick in her mind. So that's how I really kind of found out about Akon. And that was that song, Locked Up, Won't Let Me Out. My mom liked that song. I'm locked up. This, and for all intents and purposes, I, I'm saying exactly what I mean right now. How dare you? How dare you, nigga? You're, now, what you displayed to DJ Vlad was the most insulting, niggerish comment that you could have possibly made. And let me tell you something. Don't you dare. Talking about because you was born over here, but you went every year over to uh, Senegal. So you think you, that makes you better. And that's what I have a problem with with a lot of uh, African uh, people from the diaspora. But I want you to know that my father also has dual citizenship. Okay? And whenever I start seeing that, um, uh, 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 um, how do you call it, that condescending behavior, I check it at the door. That's why we didn't get along very well. And I'm letting you know, you have no right. You have no right to tell us what we should let go over here. In fact, you got a lot of damn nerve. You got a lot of nerve. You stick to Senegalese uh, uh, business. 
why you could provide electricity and shit over there because you in bed with the devils over there. You ain't provided nothing. They're using your name. You you a devil worshiper. The fact that you could say that to us over here about our Holocaust and what we should let go. Let me further know how out of touch you are. And I hope this video gets to you. Okay? Because you're wrong. You're rude. You disrespectful. You stick to the shit that's going on in Senegal. And don't you dare tell us how to handle our business over here. Don't you dare dare do anything that's stupid because now you on my uh, provocateur list there's a few of them out there and I didn't know you was one but now and with that comment you we shouldn't have nothing for you buddy what you said was uh, disrespectful um, and you need to repent to the black community, the Adolf community, you need to repent with your black ass. And with that being said, I'll see y'all in the next video. I'm sorry, I'm hot. Let me get off.